Dr. Martina Pöschke-Langer. Please, two minutes. Da die Fragen von Now we had uh, questions from two German MEPs, so I'll reply to them straight away in German. So first of all, Mrs. Sommer. Now she asked uh, about the evidence for passive smoking. Well, I can uh, uh, comfort you there. There is enough data available at the national, international level that very precisely describe the effects of passive smoking. They are uh, properly... Uh, based upon valid data, so uh, I can provide that information for you, and we've produced a report on it ourselves. Second question, on the e-cigarette, that's something you both brought up. We've got a, uh, an article which is recently published in the uh, uh, German medical uh, journal, and they were saying it's a very nebulous product. Well, why do we say nebulous? First of all, because it certainly creates a certain amount of uh, fog around it, and also nebulous because as uh, consumers we don't really know what's in these products. That's the key problem. It's uh, not a mature consumer product yet. There are no quality standards, and uh, there are th dozens of different uh, forms uh, of administration. And there are also refills which uh, seem to be very similar, but most of them uh, contain uh, nicotine and very uh, high concentrations, even irresponsibly high concentrations of nicotine. Now, the question is, if you get your uh, bottles of nicotine mixed up, uh, what, what if you accidentally put it in your fridge and get it mixed up with your food. I mean, you can kill people with nicotine. So uh, I'm not totally sure about the uh, forms of administration that are being offered by the e-cigarette manufacturers. I find that they're very dangerous. They're uh, as dangerous as the product itself. And now if we're talking about the, uh, uh, the uh, physical consequences, then you can have uh, irritations of the respiratory system. But... Uh, uh, signs of poisoning from co uh, nicotine. Well, yes, if you uh, draw in too much of the nicotine from the e-cigarettes, the consumer has absolutely no control of how much they're taking in. Eventually, there's an overload on the body, and then you can basically end up collapsing, and that's uh, uh, nicotine poisoning. So that's all I had to say.